Vineyard Clearance, Skyhawk 64433 RFR Farmingdale. Uh, Vineyard, uh, you are cleared to the Farmingdale Airport. After departure, fly runway heading, expecting radar vectors. To uh, intercept Victor 374 Groton, direct Calverton. Victor 46 Deer Park, direct. Maintain 2000. Expect 4000 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 118.2. And stand by for a squawk code, but go ahead and read back to clearance. Clear to Farmingdale, fly one. We're heading after departure. Radar vectors on to Victor 374 to Groton, then direct to Calverton, then Victor 6 to Deer Park, then direct to Farmingdale. Climb and maintain 2000, expect 4000 in 10 minutes. Departure frequency is 118.2. Okay, November 433, after Calverton is Victor 46, that's 46. Roger, after Calverton, uh, Victor 46 to Deer Park and then direct farming down. Hey, Roger, Victor 46 Deer Park direct, that's correct. Vineyard Grounds, Skyhawk 64433, IFR, taxi. Vineyard 64433, Vineyard Runway 6, taxi to the Alpha, confirm you have information, Quebec. We have Quebec and taxi to Runway 6 by Alpha, Skyhawk 64433. Flight controls up, down, down, up, up, down, left, right. Throttle 1700. Left, right. Both. Carpet. Alternator. Still charging. Throttle to 1200. Trim set for takeoff. Flaps set for takeoff. Right. Lights set. We'll do that when we get there. Only telling you to go up to four thousand. Yep. I requested four thousand. He gave it to me. Oh yeah. Yeah. But don't you want her to go higher for less winds? No, it's gonna be winds are winds are facing this way, so there'll be higher winds. Okay. Near tower sky six four four three three holding short runway six at Alpha, ready for departure. November four three three. Vineyard tower runway six. Line up and wait. Runway 6, line up and wait, Sky 64433. Runway 433, Vineyard, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Runway 6, clear for takeoff, Sky 64433. What time is it right now, your phone?
there's like a private hangar out here. Yeah. Departure 3 the runway heading contact Boston. Departure, good evening. Runway heading it over to Departure, Skylake 6443. Departure, Skylake 6443, 600, climbing 2000. Skylake 6443, Boston. Departure, radar contact. Turn the left, heading 200, climb 184000. Can you give me the left heading again, please? And I climb maintain 4000, 64433. 6433, turn left, heading 3-3, join Victor 374. Join Victor 374, Skylake 644, Look at the airport. The runway is quite big. Yeah. Uh, runway is 5,500 feet, so just over a mile. The other one is 3,300 feet. How big are the ones at JFK? 14,000 feet. 12 and 14, I think. This is 5,500, that's 14,000. That's right. Go ahead and bring it up a little bit. Southern Mike Sierra, contact Boston Center 128.75. Sierra Center, Romeo Lima, contact Diana Tower 119.5. We're almost at Providence, search 125.75. Providence on 125.75, Skylake 64433. Providence, search for Jared 4441, 1212, down for descending 111,000, information echo, good evening. Jared 41, section 4441, I'm going to pass up from 30, I can't see the recording numbers, so I'm down. Make sure it doesn't turn off. Providence approach, Skylook 6443. Skylook 6443, Providence approach, now south, 30053, altitude. 
three zero zero five at four thousand six four four three three. Four three three, Roger. You can say at four for about uh, twenty miles out the time. You have six here. Can I want you at six? Roger. Just let us know when six four four three three. Okay. He wants me to go up to six thousand after twenty miles. He said, which is fine. Sorry, big deal. Five five three zero two problem. Search that in. Yo, babe, not four, working. 485 Delta Whiskey, contact Boston approach, 118.2. Okay, Boston, Delta Whiskey, 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 Exactly a 4,000. Oh, we're perfectly on course. And this says now. Okay, I'm 50 minutes. Fine. Solid 66 Tango here. Contact Boston approach 118.2. Solid 6310 Victor. Contact Boston approach 118.2. So this is basically half our flight. You get the route. You plug it in. You know, you plug it, plug it in here, I plug it in here as a backup. You know. 50, and that's it. He's just going to continue moving you from one sector to the other sector, and he'll, have, he'll like contact this guy. And you just contact him, and he'll be like, all right, I'm checking in with you. And then that's it. You know, that's all you got to say. So you don't have to watch out for other airplanes around you? I mean, technically during day, yes, it is my responsibility, but he will watch out as well. Black Island's coming up. Uh, Block Island will be over there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. But I'll, I'll take you to Fisher's Island today. I'll show you Fisher's Island. And I'll, show, I'll also show you Grant Tower. So if I have autopilot, I would just literally sit back and just, you know. High bar is just so much easier, even during good weather. The only thing is you got to talk to people, but at evening, there's not that many people flying. So if you look at it right now, the radio is pretty much quiet for the moment, you know? But this is a transponder code right here. You put in, uh, this is the code they give us, 7334. They give you, uh, you put in 7500, that means you've been hijacked. You put in 76, you have lost communication. You put in 77, uh, emergency. And that just confirmed it was 10 this side of play bit, 111,000. Thanks, Larry. 10-31, Prop Approach, Prop South, Prop 3005. Uh, so you got the yeah, Prop Nurse, correct? 05, thanks, thanks, Larry. 10-34. So the air is like, lines like JetBlue, they're always on a flight path. Always. I have our flight plan. To go above 18,000 feet, you have to be on IFR flight plan. You can't be, you can't fly above 18,000 feet without an instrument rating. And uh, all the jets fly above 18,000. They fly 35. If you don't have instrument rating and you become a commercial pilot, you can't fly commercial at night and during the day you can only fly commercial within 50 to 50 miles. Who's gonna hire you? No one's gonna hire you. But people that do it are kind of like skydiver pilots, you know? Like, they know they're only gonna go up in good weather and just kind of throw people down, you know what I mean? They're not gonna go far, so things like that. Basically, that's Block Island, and then that's Long Island right there. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, exactly, that's Block Island. Notice in front of me... 5530, do not receive your mode, see the time confirm your transponder is on. Notice in front of me, that's a Fisher's Island. That's Small Island. Huh? That's Small Island. What? Yeah, that's Small Island, that's Fisher's yeah. Island. I'll show you a small runway on yeah, it. Yeah, basically, this is Block, and that's... Uh, Montauk. Montauk. 55302, five, just pick it up again, verify 4,500. Yeah. Block and Montauk. That's Fisher. Three two very well. Contact Bradley approach one two three point nine or five. So now we've slowed down because the winds have picked up over here. They're 
clouds behind below us. Cool, right? Got to see some clouds. Pretty cool over there that the, the that's connected with the bridge and then that it's connected with another bridge. With another bridge? Gotcha, yeah. It would be nice to do these road trips as well.
you're going to see an airport called uh, Westerly State. Look down, there's an airport here. Do you see it? Yeah. Huh? It's like a cross sign. Are you doing Charlie Frostburg? You got it? Cross sign down there. Cross sign runways, you mean? Oh. Yeah. Remember 828 Charlie, Bob 0477, I bet. Does it feel any, are we higher than before? Uh, not really. You know? You can't really tell. Yeah, I'm okay. I actually see things better now because right now we're directly over the land. Below us. Yeah, I saw one on the traffic. It's a thousand feet below us, exactly a thousand feet below us. Yeah, that looks a lot more than a thousand feet. The night flight is pretty amazing with all the lights. Yeah, let's see. You you, you might get to see some uh, nice lights uh, when we're coming in for landing, you know? Okay, now we're going to go over at Grotten Airport, exactly above Grotten Airport. All right, so you got the airport underneath you? Yeah, the runway is practically on next to the water. Yeah. Oh, this night flight is pretty good too, because uh, the lights really help. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's turn. Towards? 248. Moon is 250,000 miles away, and after 50,000 feet, which is only 10 miles, the air pressure will drop and the airplane can't fly. Even the jets? Jets can go up 15 miles, maybe. Not even, no, not, not even 15 miles, no. No, they, no, they, they go 8 miles. I, I, this thing can go only 3 miles. They can go 8 miles up. That thing is tight, like a mile up. There you go. Wait, okay, so what happens while you're flying up? Air pressure goes down. Wings can't generate enough lift. Engine will not get enough uh, air to burn. How do the rockets go? They don't use air at all. They use, they, they carry their own oxygen and they carry their own uh, fuel and they push down basically. They're not relying on the air at all. They actually hate the air. A rocket uses like 60-70% of its energy just to get to 50,000 feet and then it just flies off the rest because there's no atmosphere. Our atmosphere is still there, but it's so little that it can just, you know, shoot up there. The rockets don't need outside air at all. Outside air actually is bad for them. It slows them down. Airplanes need outside air for engine as well as the wing. And that would give her water for, well, probably 20, 20 minutes, maybe. And then Long Island? Yeah, long lines are right in front of us right now. Yeah. We're, we're going to go exactly over that airport. So it's approaching this as 420, leveling at 11,000. This is 420, Pounds, 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 Center maintain really, uh, 5,000, clear, direct to Martha's Vineyard. Down to 5,000, direct to Martha's Vineyard, and we have Quebec. Do you want to put a video in the it? Somebody's going from here, and I told him to just go straight. Eight I'm not sure. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, I'm gonna miss that island. Yeah, I admit it's kind of fun to be a pilot. Expensive, but yeah, of course it's awesome. Huh? Expensive, but yeah, awesome. 